all morning here, we've been checking out some of the crazy features available now for smart home gadgets. Yeah, they can help you keep your home safe and make it easier to do your day-to-day -day tasks, but they can also help with your business. So we've got Carlos Diaz back with us this morning to help explain what's going on. Hi, Carlos. I could do it, or maybe we could have Amazon Alexa. She could actually <laughs> explain this better than I could. But smart homes are a growing business. This year, check this out, an estimated $30 billion worth of smart home technology will be sold. In five years, that number is expected to more than triple to $108 billion. And Hoosiers are using smart home technology to help their personal businesses as well. Take local attorney Mike Ledbetter. He lives and works in the same space, and he travels a lot, so smart home tech helps him keep his family safe. This is a live work space, so for me, I'm on the road quite a bit, so we have employees coming and going throughout the day. So at the end of the evening, I ought to be sure that everything's locked down, the garage door, all the exterior doors, the alarms being able to set remotely. That's important to us. If I'm in Chicago, I can't lock it by hand. So 11 o'clock at night, Chicago, I can check to make sure everything's locked down for my family. It gives me peace of mind, personally. It's the wave of the future. Everything is moving this direction. Real estate agent Greg Cooper actually uses Alexa to give automated tours of the homes he is showing. The device will begin to tell them about the overall property or it'll start talking about the features of a particular room. And what's great about this is that if there are flyers in a home, that's all fine, but people aren't looking at the flyers while they're walking through the home. So we're engaging the audio sensory capacity to give people additional information so they can absorb the visual components of the home while they're being told about the great amenities of it at the same time. Smart homes are now a big business for the guys from Sync Technology, a local company who used to just install home theater systems. So are smart homes officially a booming industry here in Indy? Oh, 100%. For sure. Um, we see such growth in our security, home control, smart control, home automation areas of the business. We tend to do more of that anymore than we do just home theaters or, sa or sound systems. It seems to be all connected. Connected home. It's definitely growing. And you can actually teach your home, your smart home, to consolidate tasks. So, okay, say you're going to bed. And right. when you go to bed at night, you've got to turn off all the lights, turn off the TV, check the front door lock, check the garage door. You could actually, in a smart home, just say, okay, Google, sleep. And then the smart home does it for you. Turns mm -hmm. out the lights, turns off the lights in the basement, locks the front door, adjusts the thermostat. So just by saying one word, your entire home is ready for you to go to bed. And I love the idea that if you're not at home, you can still right. be doing a lot of those tasks, alarming, keeping your doors locked by using your phone. And we talk, you know, Baby Hill just arrived. Right. You know, Ben Hill just has a baby. I remember when we had our kids, I had a camera right above the crib, and I'm watching the baby from my smartphone, mm -hmm. like, all day long because it's an extra peace of mind. Yeah, and like if you're yeah. gone, you want to check to see if the garage door. Did you remember exactly. to shut yeah, it? Exactly. Right there. It's All right, Carlos, a great look at this mm -hmm. this morning. Thank you.